Namaste, the dear Muji. In my heart, I know worldly experiences can never satisfy me, but after a partial awakening last year, many new and in brackets you have latent desires have shown up along with affection for the human affliction. Now it appears that these desires for experiences are stronger than the desire for liberation and truth. Underlying all of this is the fear handing over control spells for the ego, spells death for the ego. Oh beloved Muji, please bring your clarity so that I may see beyond this foolishness. And this one is from Joshua. <coughs> In my heart, I know worldly experiences can never satisfy me. This is the first good thing. You will come to that uh, understanding. But after, <coughs> excuse me, after a partial awakening last year, partial awakening means what? Mm. Many new or latent desires have shown up along with affection for the human affliction. Yes. Now it appears that these desires for experiences are stronger than the desire for liberation and truth. This is another phenomenon that is happening for a number of people that somehow it almost would be like um, opening the door to truth seems like it's released some monsters and now you are uh, busy babysitting your monsters than seeking the truth. But it is a scam. And you need to be aware of that. It's almost as though the opposite of what you are searching for has become a fascination for you. You continue, underlying all of this is the fear of handing over control <coughs> which spells death for the ego. This is underneath it because you've come to a point where, you know, one sees that this me who is living my life is itself an illusion. And in the seeing of this, there's a natural sense of surrendering or giving up on this the one who is living the life and making decisions. But then quickly, like a reflex, the mind moves into this fear mode at the thought I am giving up my self-control. And I say as though you had any in the, in the first place. You only have the illusion of control that yes, I am doing this and I can do with my life as I want. And if you were to interview a hundred people who have this idea about life, you will look and see that for the most part they seem to be suffering life and that is it's not that they are trying to control life and so therefore they have managed through their control to create a good life. The fact is that trying to control the life has produced a lot of stress and anxiety because nobody can control. Life is not here to be controlled. It is to be lived, to be experienced with a open heart and uh, a honest uh, sense of being, you can put like that. So this is all the reactions of the ego mind which you are falsely still identifying with as though this is yourself, you see. Oh beloved Muji, please bring your clarity so that I may see beyond this foolishness. Well, something must have already seen that it is foolishness. That all of this somehow as soon as <coughs> something is breaking open from this tightness from this suppression from this prison house of egoic identity as soon as you are smelling the fresh air of freedom reactions and resistances are popping up why because in some way it is like the mind has been holding the beingness hostage and now why can it hold the beingness hostage because the beingness is asleep 
to its own real nature. It's forgotten it's that it is the supreme one, that it is untouchable by the mind, but it's in a state of dream, believing itself to be the body mind, which comes under <coughs> the sway of the egoic or the serpent mind. And then what happened now is that things seems to have turned around in the sense that you have an awakening which is a, a movement towards liberation but what happened is that uh, desires have shown up which were not seemingly there before <coughs> this is the mind again this is the illusory play of the mind and uh, these desires they are not even true uh, but you say also also an affection for the human affliction now it appears that these desires for experiences are stronger than the desire for liberation and for the truth because somehow the mind has been twisted now it's going back and uh, somehow <coughs> the attention is paying a, a kind of tribute um, falsely to these tendencies appearing they're appearing as though they are important and they're meaningful to you but it's still pulling the man is pulling you into deeper states of sleeping rather than waking up it doesn't want you to wake up to who you are because if you wake up to who you are it doesn't stand a chance so keep you drugged up this is what is happening so underlying all of this is the fear handing over control spells death for the ego so you must make a choice are you ego or not and if there is death for the ego is it good news for you or not if you identify with the ego then you will feel oh my god you know that all these teachings these satsangs they are bad and you will cooperate with your mind to try and discredit the beauty and the freedom that satsang is offering you you see but if you are smart wise you'll see oh my god what is actually happening is that my mind and all its deception is being exposed and it is trying now to fight feebly but using all its resources to try and discredit the pure heart will it succeed let's wait and see you see because you say underlying all of this is the fear of handing over control who are you handing over control to you're handing over control to your heart itself not to another but to your heart itself you may think I'm not handing out control over to Muji then leave Muji out of it you're handing control of the mind back to the heart which is the correct relationship and Muji if he is true only represents your heart anyway so now you refer oh beloved Muji if Muji is the beloved one also it will be your heart you see please bring your clarity so I may see beyond this foolishness I have just said and shared with you so only you have to keep saying yes I wish to wake up I am choosing to wake up and to stop giving <clears throat> the mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to the ego because it is going it is dying and don't grieve for this death this death is a celebration the death of the ego is not a death of the mind it is actually a resuscitation for the true mind it brings your mind back into its natural state which is that it is synonymous with the heart they are one so there's either very great news that's going to come out of this writing or bad news bad news would be to cooperate still with your mind still identifying and supporting and supplying energy to the egoic thinking <coughs> which will pull you more and more into suffering in the beginning if you say yes to your mind it will also seem to treat you very well it will say oh there well done well done I will take care of you but only for a few a few moments so I am encouraging you to say yes to your heart and to let the mind 
uh, go its natural course to be merged inside your heart. This is what is the best outcome, the most auspicious outcome to what you have written here. And I wish this for you. Joshua, thank you.